swooping, craggy hills, home to homeless horses and nomads, Neolithic tombs housing the ancestors of dead gods and warrior queens, stone circles that calculate the precise distance to the pyramids, an abbey that brews a fortified wine so potent that, I admit I intermittently imbibe it. Dartmoor is the mysterious moorland in the southwest of England that harbours all kinds of strange and sinister stuffs. Fog falls. When the mist is set, something is born or unborn. A child, cut untimely from its mother's womb, dies in her arms. This spirit is lost, cast unto the wind-swept wasteland bare, with nobody to care. Such dark times meant that but a moment was spent on rites, or doing what was. So the soul sailed across the spread until it found a home. Alone in the wind, the tormented child goes half mad and wails. Its wails combine with the winds, so none can or care to hear its scream. Doomed, the child becomes a hound, dead by man, born of Yeth. A grin with human teeth, the Yeth hounds drool and glance at one another with milky human eyes in packs. They prowl the grasslands and commons for prey those foolish to stumble onto their land during the night. Their cries are the screams of the child's soul they inherit, at once warning its prey that they are there, and at the same time becoming to a base instinct of paternal devotion, for surely the cry of a baby would warrant investigation. But when the beast bites you, it never lets go. Its teeth tear and hook hard into your flesh. But the Yeth do not hunt for food, they hunt for fun. And they hunt for a larger beast than themselves, who none have known and will forever remain unknowable. The Yeth take their prey to the far away, a place beyond the horizon that most will never see, and a place you should sincerely hope you will never be.